During Philippe de Montebello's 30 years as director of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the museum acquired 84,000 works of art. You see the exhibition's signature image, this magnificent self-portrait of Rubens with his family. Choosing the pieces that will be part of the curator's salute to Philippe de Montebello's career has fallen on the shoulders of curator Helen Evans. All of the museum's curatorial departments sent in their suggestions as to the most transformative works that the museum has acquired during Philippe's tenure. Assigned the task of diplomatically taking charge and making sure everyone is well represented, Ms. Evans is working with senior design advisor Jeff Daly to create a cohesive display out of 300 chronologically and culturally diverse pieces. He's saying he wants it to be very exciting and very stimulating and, and very, very un unexpected. Yeah. Yes. He said, the know, selection you begins edit, with pieces de Montebello acquired more. early in his career. This one and these four, four were acquired by Philippe when he was an assistant curator. So he asked that we include them because they come from uh, hmm. the beginning of his uh, career and he sees them as when he convinced his boss to buy something. The show is unique the because the selections the don't conform to any one style part. or period. I find this a really exciting show in the extent that yep. everything else I've ever done has had a theme and we've been trying right. to, to make points and this is... We can make it up. This is <laughs> exciting juxtapositions right. and the, the catalog entries are uh, pouring into my office. It's about but from a collection right. this size, makes it about not even all of the favorite yeah. pieces can and be included. So and he's uh, not and that small. this piece has been removed from the show. Oh, I like that little guy. He, yeah. he, got, trans, he got transformed into something else. Bye-bye. <laughs>